Have you ever wished that you could make your very own duck hole? Now I'm talking about taking a spot that ducks don't come to and turning it into an absolute waterfowl magnet. <laughs> well stick around, because we're going to show you one of those places, this time on Great Days in God's Country. What a great day. I love waterfowl hunting. <laughs> I don't care if it's ducks, geese, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just like being out there and, and calling and trying to bring that duck in. That wind on the wings, it's just a lot of fun. It, it's a challenging sport, but it, it is also one of the most exciting things I believe that a human being can experience. You know, there's a lot of different things that folks love about duck hunting. They love to see the birds working into the decoys and they enjoy calling them in. I'm convinced that my duck calling translates into some type of waterfowl profanity <laughs> because I just can't call ducks. But I love to shoot them. How about it? You know, I hunt for a lot of different reasons and, and of course, I'm a dog trainer. That's what I do for a living, and, and I love to watch the dogs work, and I love to watch the dogs do their thing. I would not go duck hunting without a dog. I despise it. I hate it. I've done it a handful of times. It's no fun. It's it's not the same deal. It, it takes away so much from it, and uh, and I sure wouldn't go duck hunting without my friends. And I mean, I've traveled all over this world. I've been as far south as you can go and as far north as you can go with my closest friends and, and, uh, and believe me that is a, that's a huge part of the reason I do it because uh, I love spending time with them and, and, uh, and having them in my life. Paul Sullivan and his wife Suzanne operate Burbank Goose in eastern Washington. Now I'm telling you, they've got some of the very best duck and goose hunting found anywhere. Now when I first met Paul, I was just a little bit skeptical of his little duck hole that he calls Paul's Pond. He told me that they shoot green heads only and that they get their limit almost every day. Well, it didn't take a whole lot of convincing on his part to get me to say, I'm in. Dan's got the still camera, it's gonna be shooting some photos, that'd be some pretty impressive stuff. Now along with me on this trip are a couple of really good friends, Jacob Pettis and Daniel Sample. Paul's Pond is a pond that Paul dug out right in the middle of his barley field. He leaves acres and acres of uncut barley for the ducks, and every evening they fill it up by the thousands. Paul has a very unique way of hunting his ducks. He doesn't go in at first light and wait for the ducks to come in. And the reason is the ducks are already on the pond and they're stacked up wall to wall all over that pond. He waits for the ducks to leave on their own. And then we go and set up our decoys and get in the blind and wait for small groups to filter back to the pond throughout the day. Right there. Band of duck, first shot. Now, okay, guys, listen. The last time I shot a band was with Paul. You're kidding. No, that was the last time I shot a band was with you. Are you sure I didn't kill that one? I'm a band fanatic, so to start off the hunt with a banded mallard, 
What could be better than that? Great Days in God's Country, sponsored by Great Day, making great days in the outdoors. Wind floaters from Great Day are feather light natural fibers that float along with wind currents, following every up or down draft, accurately tracing the wind's path. You can use them from ground level or from a tree stand. Whether in a strong wind or in that almost undetectable breeze, you'll know where to place your tree stand, know how high to hunt, and know how to time your shots. Look for wind floaters at your favorite retailer or at greatdayeat.com. It's the Power Loader from Great Day. Load your big buck, firewood, sacks of feed, or ice chests. The Power Loader turns a two or three man job into a single handed task. At the push of a button, the patented telescopic lifting arms of the Power Loader moves loads up to 250 pounds from ground level to locked and loaded, ready for transport. Get the maximum benefit of your ATV with the amazing Power Loader from Great Day. You know, duck hunters, true duck hunters, call being at that right spot at the right time, they call it being on the X. It can be a small pothole in the corner of a field that you know that's where the ducks are coming. Being there at the right time is what it's all about. You could uh, have uh, 10,000 acres and this could be the one spot that those ducks choose to come to. Paul's a pretty big stickler for not shooting into big groups. Uh, only singles and small bunches is all we want to shoot at, so we don't educate the big bunches. That one just about bit the dust right there. It was a nanosecond from being a dead <laughs> duck. <laughs> Now what's so awesome is these ducks are so callable. I mean, they come right to the call, they work really well. I'm used to hunting in an area where there's a lot of pressure and a lot of people calling at ducks and the ducks are, are call shy a majority of our duck season. Good job, Jacob. Right here, bud. <laughs> that was a good shot, Paul. Oh.
Best place to duck hunt right here in Washington. It's the quick draw overhead mounting system from Great Day with models for your gun or bow to provide easy access and safe transport while in your UTV. The unique mounting system installs in minutes with no drilling or bolting. The bow model has two soft cushion cradles to stabilize your bow. The gun model employs soft rubber gun clips for handling two guns securely. Look for the Quick Draw UTV overhead gun rack or bow rack at your favorite retailer or at GreatDayInc.com. Pretty bad at hunting deer. Attention hunters, the three CD set from Bad Bob and Jimmy. Over 30 tracks of hilarious, funny hunting songs. Songs like He's Brown, He's Down. And I've got a brand new deer stand. And of course, Cause I hunt deer in posted places. Get yours today at funnyhuntingsongs.com or call the number on your screen. That's funnyhuntingsongs.com. Paul's Pond is a pond that Paul dug out right in the middle of his barley field. Paul's not a big advocate of shooting large groups of ducks. He wants to, he doesn't want to educate the ducks. He would rather shoot just small groups of uh, twos and threes and singles. Uh, it makes for a, a really uh, a good time in that there's constant action with the ducks filtering back in from the Columbia River. Uh, it was just awesome and incredible to think that there's that many ducks circling, wanting to come into that pond. It was, it was pretty incredible, very incredible. One of the most exciting things I believe that a human being can experience when there are 300 mallards circling over your head and you're just hoping you can shoot as many of them as the law will allow. <laughs> You take him, Joel. Go, 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 go. That was you. You guys are all right. Good shots. <laughs> See him. Turn, Jacob. Good job, guys. Great. All right. Ready. Good job. Hold him up. Oh. Baby, I could do this all day. <laughs> two for two. Two for two. Cooper. All right, let's do it again.
job, guys. Great. This is really cool how, Paul, you've got the ducks kind of hanging right here in front of you. That's a, that's a neat thing about these blinds you can do. It's easy way to count them. You bet. Easy way Keep to count them. Keep track of how many you got. Yep. And if you if you hunt in the water, you know, where it's flooded, you're not having ducks laying in the water and kind of getting all... It dries and, them off. Yeah. It drains them. It cools them. What I love about coming to hunt in the Pacific Flyway is you get to kill seven ducks and they can all be mallards. It's something kind of wrong feeling about that from a guy coming from, from Arkansas, you know, it just don't seem right. <laughs> well, from a Washington boy, it is right. <laughs> I know, I know, that's why I like coming over here, it's awesome. Seven green heads apiece. Mm. You know, people that don't hunt will never understand what a thrill that is. You don't have to shoot them. I mean, it's fun to shoot them, don't get me wrong. But it's fun to just watch them come in too like that. When I think about a great day in God's country, my fondest memories out in his creation in his country is with my kids. Whether it be, you know, hunting, fishing, but most of all is out bird hunting with our longbows. And on, on this trip, I've just got Violet and Luke along with me. The other ones that are at the house because they're normally all in tow with us. So to just have two along is like, man, this is a piece of cake. I only got two to get dressed for their morning's hunt. And to get out with the kids, that's what I'll look back and remember. Luke's eight, Violet's nine. And remember, I can't call ducks. I just, I really stink at it. I mean, I can blow the call a little bit and if one's really super lonely, he might come in. We've got the, the swamp there behind us. There's the big canals and the fields drain into it and the ducks love to leave the big ponds down there and they'll come into these little swamp areas to feed during the day. So we, we try to set up in like a flyway and it's all or nothing. I mean, they're either right on top of us or if they're this way 50 yards or that way 50 yards, we can't shoot them. The distance we're trying to shoot these birds, generally about 10 or 15 yards. You know, you're talking a huge difference between bow hunting for ducks and shotgun hunting for ducks. If you're shotgun hunting, you're not going to try to collect your pellets again. You don't really care as long as you're not hitting the farmer's house, you don't care where they go. You, know, you can shoot just about 360 degrees around you, but with your, your longbow, I mean, you're, you're pretty much all or nothing. They're coming right down the alleyway. They're coming right over the top of you. Now, the good thing is if you can get that kind of set up, you've got a pretty high percentage shot. I mean, they're coming right over your head, and if you're down low and you can raise up, then you can put the hammer on and there's nothing like it. You can shoot a thousand ducks with your shotgun, and it'll never, ever give you the thrill of shooting one with your longbow. I can't tell how many ducks I killed that day. I don't remember. But what I do remember is the smile on Violet Luke's face. And I remember how much they enjoyed it. And today, they can't tell you how many ducks that we killed, but they'll tell you all kinds of stories about those two days that we spent in the swamps of Eastern North Carolina. And that's what it's all about, is getting those kids out for a great day in God's country. Pretty bad at hunting deer. Attention hunters, the three CD set from Bad Bob and Jimmy. Over 30 tracks of hilarious, funny hunting songs. Songs like, he's brown, he's down. And, got a brand new deer stand. And of course, cause I hunt deer in posted places. Get yours today at funnyhuntingsongs.com or call the number on your screen. That's funnyhuntingsongs.com. It's the Power Loader from Great Day. Load your big buck, firewood, sacks of feed, or ice chests. The power loader turns a two or three man job into a single handed task. At the push of a button, the patented telescopic lifting arms of the power loader moves loads up to 250 pounds from ground level to locked and loaded, ready for transport. Get the maximum benefit of your ATV with the amazing power loader from Great Day. Great Days in God's Country. Sponsored by Great Day, making great days in the outdoors. Paul's business is called Burbank Goose. They've got really great Canada goose hunting too.
Watch out, watch. Hi, I'm Chris Aiken. This is Captain Jack, and we're gonna be starting him on retrieving. And what we're doing, we're in the hallway of my house, and I've closed all the bedroom, bathroom doors. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be throwing this little rubber duck up in the closed end. And then once he goes and gets it, I'm always going, hey, hey, hop, 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 and throw it in there. Now, he, he's been doing this now for a few days. He goes and gets it. He's only got one place to come back to, which is me. I'm gonna make him think he just won the Super Bowl. I'm gonna really build him up and encourage him. I'm only gonna do it three or four or five times and we're gonna quit for the day. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Atta boy. Look at you, big man. Here, hey, 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 hey. There you go, big dog. Look at you, huh? Come on. Come on. All right. Come on, good boy. Okay. Okay. Don't be in any real big hurry to take it out of his mouth and just rub on him and let him know he did good. Then just repeat the process. Hey, 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 Good boy, okay. I'm gonna go one more. Hey, hey, hop, 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 hop. All right, that my boy. Look at you, look at you, huh? Look at you, boy. Look at you, good job. And you know, these are real simple retrieves. You know, they're only about 10, 15 foot long, but we really wanna build him up. We don't wanna be letting him go get it and then have to chase him down and you know, that kind of stuff. We wanna make him really have a lot of fun. One big thing we don't want to do, we don't want to throw this 30 or 40 times in here. We want to do this four, five, six times a day. We want to quit when they're having a ball. Really makes him want it more for the next day. So just take your time, do this on like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday kind of deal and really build him up every time he does it. And then put this up. I stick this on top of my refrigerator in the house and that way I'll always know where it is. And when he sees me going for the fridge, he'll be thinking he's getting him some retrieves. So keep it fun for you and him and he'll always love to do it. Way to go, big dog. You know, as an outdoor field producer, sometimes uh, we have the privilege of being able to get on the other side of the camera, and more importantly, hold a gun. And this was one of those cases. Well, we decided on that last afternoon that we'd shot plenty of ducks. We were only one or two ducks shy of the limit, and we had the camera outside the blind. We were just shooting a few extra things to wrap up the show when a duck floated in. Nice shooting. Oh boy. Nice shooting. Not bad. <laughs> right. Not bad at all. Because I knew he was banded. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Oh, another banded duck. <laughs> you got a van on your leg. Well, I don't know what could be better on a duck hunt to go and have the very first duck of the hunt be a banded duck and the very last duck of the hunt be a banded duck. We're done. It's a fun hunt. Grab some birds and get out of here. You huh? bet. I'm telling you, it's such a memorable hunt that we took there to Washington and definitely another great day in God's country. That really was a great day. We're so glad you joined us this week for Great Days in God's Country. Special thanks to my friends Paul and Suzanne Sullivan for such a wonderful time in Eastern Washington. We'll give you their information in just a moment. Now make sure you check us out next week and also check us out on the web, both on Facebook and on our website. Until next week, God bless. I'm Joel Strickland and make it a great day. <laughs>